Omni Slider has two different uh, time-lapse shooting options. The first one is continuous mode, where the camera travels and takes shots simultaneously. And the second one is drive shoot drive mode, where the camera will stop for each of shots. You can control your camera using an external intervalometer, and you can also control it using the Omni Slider uh, built-in features. If you want to shoot drive shoot drive, of course, uh, you have to use the Omni Slider controller. We have a wide range of cameras that are supported. This is uh, all models of Canon DSLRs. Uh, this is also Nikon cameras and uh, Panasonic GH1 and GH2 is coming shortly. We have also custom cables for RED cameras. So quite a wide range. In continuous time-lapse mode, you have control over four different parameters. The first one is uh, total time of the time-lapse sequence. The second one is the exposure length, which is uh, efficient only if you shoot in bulb mode, otherwise uh, your camera controls shutter. The third one is uh, the direction. You can go left or right. Um, and the, the last one is number of shots. The interval between shots is uh, calculated automatically basing on the total track length and the number of shots. The total time of time-lapse sequence may be anything from 10 minutes to 1000 hours, so you can shoot pretty long sequences with that. Let's start with the basic time-lapse sequence now in continuous mode. The time is set to 10 minutes, uh, the number of shots is around 300. Let's go. When the camera reaches the end of the track, it will stop automatically, so you don't have to wait for it to stop. Um, that's it about continuous mode. Let's have a look at uh, the drive through drive mode. In this mode, you have exactly the same controls, so you can control total time, number of shots, direction and exposure, um, but the camera will stop for each of shots. I had go. There is also a feature that allows you to take a sequence of images each time. So this is useful for uh, shooting HDR, for example, or for noise reduction. You also need to remember that there is a feature that allows you to use the previously recorded motion uh, as a basis for a time lapse. So you can record something, a sophisticated sequence, and play it back uh, using a very high uh, speed divider. So it will play back over much, much longer uh, period of time, like six or ten hours or a few days. And uh, this is useful for shooting really advanced uh, time-lapse sequences with uh, easing and sophisticated motion.